Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about relative propagation delay. This is a feature that's available in the Orca PCB Designer Professional License and the Allegro PCB Designer Professional License. So what I want to do is I want to set up a, a match group for these seven purple nets here, effectively, um, to be able to match them in length. So if we launch Constraint Manager uh, and we go to the relative propagation delay worksheet from within inside the electrical net routing worksheet, um, I've got effectively my, my seven nets here, so I'm going to drag select them, right click, create a match group. We'll give it a name, and then what happens is effectively the, the tools automatically pick a target net because I have a delta value and a tolerance value. The target net is normally set on the length of the longest track. Um, so I want these to all match within with a target, so I need a, a delta value. If I don't want um, a target value, I just put a colon so I would not have a delta value. Uh, and I'm going to match them all within 20 mils. So all these nets must meet with or match within plus or minus 20 mils of each other. Um, so obviously the target net's picked by default. Um, you can, if you want, pick your own target net. So I could select the net, right click, set as target. That would then set this this net here as the target net. Um, but I've then obviously got to reduce the, the length of this track to meet this one. So sometimes it's easier to just leave the, the default length as the maximum length. So we'll just clear that one. Um, or what I'd also need to do is I did have a target length and I've had to increase the length of that one to kind of make it suitable. So once the the rule has been set, I can go back to PCB Editor and I now get some DRCs of the ones that I need to add length to. So we use a standard delay command. Um, we'll just use accordion and 45. Um, and I'm just going to pick the nets and I get the real-time feedback bars uh, and they'll go green when I'm meeting the rule. And I can effectively just select the nets that I want or the tracks that I need to add the delay to. To start to meet the DRC rules. Let's just start that a little bit further along. A little bit here as well. And finally this one. So I'm now not got any DRCs, I'm now meeting all of my, my matched group constraints. If we go back to Constraint Manager, you can see that the match group is all green. I'm going to create another match group now. Um, if we zoom over to this part of the PCB, I've got a net here with a T point on, and what I want to do is make sure that the length from the T point to both of these ICs is the same. So in Constraint Manager, what we'll do is we'll locate the net and we'll create some pin pairs. So I want to go from the T point to U17 and the T point to U18. I then drag select the two pin pairs and create a match group. Now this time I don't specifically want a target net so I'm just going to not set a, a delta value uh, and I want them to match within 10 mils. And if we analyze that they're both already meeting that, that constraint, but just as an example, if I need to add some length to one half of this, I would also need to add the similar kind of length to the other to meet that constraint. Go back to Constraint Manager, and again, we're still meeting. We've got a green Constraint Manager. We're kind of good to go. Um, the final section of this is on the address bus that I have here. Um, I've effectively got a, an address bus and I want to match the length from, from the FPGA to the last memory device, so from U5 all the way through to U10. So if we go to Constraint Manager, we'll create the pin pairs, so create a pin pair. I want to go from U5 to U10 and we'll do that for the other three. U5 to U10. Once my pin pairs are there, I can control select them, right click, create a match group. In this instance, I want a target net. I'm going to set the value so I want these to match within plus or minus 20 mils of each other. If we do an analyze, my target net is meeting the constraint, so I've got to sort the delay out on the other three pin pairs. I get the DRC errors. Now, the advantage of this is that because I've set the rule effectively from the FPGA, to the last memory device, I can add delay anywhere amongst that that those those areas or that each pin pair. 
So just as an example, if I try to add the, the, the delay here on the on the connector to the, the FPGA, I don't get the real-time feedback bars because that's not part of the constraint that I've set. But if I try the other side and we'll add delay, the real-time feedback bars come in and I can meet the rule. Um, if we continue to follow this one through and we'll add the delay over here. I can do that one and we'll also add the other one, the delay over here because I've got plenty of space here. My DRCs go clear. If I go back to Constraint Manager, let's look at my match groups and we'll just analyze all of them. They're all meeting the constraints. They're green in Constraint Manager. I'm good to go.